globe is fighting currently has to do with the coronavirus that emanated from the Hubei province in uh, China. In Ghana, so far, we have recorded up to 68 cases uh, with a few deaths. In fact, the president of the nation, His Excellency, has issued that the human traffic in and out of uh, Ghana be seized with immediate effect. And so today, we have come to the Takrade port, a major uh, entry point so far as this country is concerned to assess the things that uh, authorities here are putting in place to ensure that the directives of His Excellency the President Nada Kwakufado are strictly adhered to. Thank you very much and uh, before I say anything I would like to use this medium to thank management of uh, GPHA since the onset of the coronavirus they have been very 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 supportive. In fact, initially, some of us were panicked, but uh, they've been cooperating very well. Uh, if you could see, there's something like a wall. At the back of it, you can see some vessel there. They call the place an uh, Anchorage Bay or Anchorage area. Yes, uh, now what uh, the system will put in place is that any vessel that is coming from an uh, uh, infected country, okay, you have to remain there. Then the, the, the port authority will take us there with their pilot boats for it to go and assess the clean bill of health of the crew and then the vessel as well before we give them health clearance to come in. So, uh, in case there's a suspected case on board, what we'll do is uh, when we go, we quickly give information to signal. Okay? Then uh, we call. Uh, our uh, health experts, the nearest hospital, be it the G GPHA hospital or uh, the European hospital. Then they will make uh, an ambulance available so that uh, we evacuate the case from uh, the vessel okay, to the holding room where my boss showed you earlier for further investigation. We have been told that the COVID-19 virus can stay on surfaces for at least uh, 12 hours. And we know that the port here, uh, you, you, there are goods coming in which have surfaces with, which can contain the virus possibly. I don't know, uh, apart from uh, doing these things to uh, safeguard persons who come in here, how about the cargo, the load that they bring in? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the virus cannot uh, survive more than uh, 24 hours. Yes, the mother cannot always I mean, can survive more than 24 hours. So, uh, and also the virus is, is droplets. Okay, that is why they are at the, uh, advising that uh, we should have uh, social distance. distance. First of all, we have two holding areas. One uh, immediately at the port, not far away from the wharf. The second one is just directly opposite our hospital. And uh, we have, uh, in our own way, uh, the management of Ghana Port and Harbour Authority and the board are solidly behind us. They've provided us with uh, resources to get um, what we call personal protective equipment. They've given us resources to buy uh, in Ghana what we call Veronica buckets. So we've placed them at vantage points for our staff and for our clients who visit us for hand washing. And currently, the hand sanitizers are I would say, out of stock in most shops. And so our pharmacy unit bought alcohol and other ingredients and have prepared the hand sanitizers for us. And um, we have been able to procure a, lot, a number of face masks. All these items are in short supply, but we have sufficient to protect us for a while. We are making effort to restock. Uh, we have 
set up a committee. Uh, Dr. Yamo, my deputy, is in charge. And they meet regularly to deliberate on uh, how to improve our system. We have also we are also in uh, direct contact with Port Health Services. Uh, I mean Port Health uh, as part of Ministry of Health. He uh, assure us, and they are the front line. Then we are next. We work hand in hand to uh, protect the port community. Yeah, actually, uh, Ghana Health Service, for that matter, has fully prepared, especially Takwadi port, because the PPE that is needed, they've supplied. And actually, the Gapoha Clinic also has, and in collaboration with the director of Ghana Port and Harbor Authority, have given two holding centers. One is as a wife, and another one is nearer to Gapoha Hospital. And actually, if any, in fact, uh, we come and across any suspected case on board, you will quickly move the person to the holding center for the laboratory technician to take blood sample to Noguchi for testing. So actually, Ghana Health Service actually have prepared, fully prepared for Takwadi port. How about the staff that come in and out every day of the port? Yeah, because of that, you've started screening them. If you come, you have every vetted point that the staff usually pass. We have Veronica bucket there. You have to wash your hand. You have to use the hand sanitizer. Then we screen you with the infrared thermometer before we allow you to go to the wharf. But is there any challenge, any short course that uh, needs to be mentioned? No, you don't have challenge because as I was saying that Ghana Health Service have supplied the PPE. Uh, Gapoha also have bought some to, I mean, supplement what we have. So actually, you don't have problem at all. So and with the, with the, uh, the PPE, equipment, you, you have don't have problem. Okay. And we've started educating all the uh, stakeholders here. So they know what to do and then what not to do. So you don't have any problem at all. Yeah, the port is safe. So far as port health, uh, port health officers are concerned here. We've actually intensified our work very well. So the port is safe. So like you heard from the head of the uh, Ghana Health Services right here at the Takwadi Port, uh, they have implemented all the directives that have been issued by the government and the president himself, Nanado Dan Kaukufuado, in making sure that the port, being a major entry point into this country, has been safeguarded. Like you heard him say, this port in Takwadi is safe. Atoko Amlotu for Western Region in Focus.